So, I'm here at VidCon, the place where all the people who make videos go. Hey there friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts, and right now, I am hurting. Uh, VidCon has, I, I've gotten like, I've walked about 19,000 steps today. Uh, same thing yesterday, it was really just kind of intense. Uh, yeah. what, do, what do I have to say about VidCon? Um, well, I didn't know exactly what to expect, but I've been to a lot of conferences. I run a conference myself for my work, and uh, so I had some expectations. I did not expect uh, the number of young people and their parents. Uh, Disneyland is across the street, and I kind of thought like, I kind of felt like I was in Disneyland, which is a place that I hate. So <laughs> I guess that's going to give you a little clue as to how I felt about uh, being at VidCon the majority of the time. I did, I did get to meet some people. I got to meet Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. We talked for a little while. That was very cool. Uh, I got to meet Nick Nimmin. I got to talk to my buddy Roberto Blake for a bit. Uh, who else did I meet? Um, I don't know. There were other people. Uh, Sean Cannell from uh, Think Media TV and Video Influencers. So I got to make some connections. And that's good. I saw some good panels. I saw Roberto give a great speech, a uh, great talk about uh, content strategy, which I've had that conversation with Roberto, and he's great. If you're a YouTuber and you want to learn something, go to Roberto Blake. I, uh, I feel like I'm just going to ramble a little bit here and not really know what the hell I'm saying because I'm incredibly tired. Now, I'm here in the palatial Ramada by Wyndham uh, Anaheim Convention Center Hotel. Uh, this is the most disgusting place. No, it's the second most disgusting place I've ever stayed in. Uh, the first most disgusting place was this this uh, motor inn in Roanoke, Virginia, uh, where my next door neighbors for the night were uh, working prostitutes. And I got a tarp out of my out of my vehicle to cover the bed with, so I slept on top of a plastic tarp. Yeah, so that is the most disgusting place I've ever stayed in. And this is this is second. The bathroom is over there, and <laughs> you you can see it. There it is. There's the toilet. The toilet is okay, uh, but above the shot, so it's got this oval shaped whirlpool tub. That I th I was like, wow, Whirlpool tub, that's pretty fancy. But honestly, like, I hadn't turned the lights on in that bathroom uh, until this morning. I've been here for a couple of days. I've just been, like, going nonstop. So I haven't really spent any time here except for sleeping. This morning I wanted to take a shower. And I went in there and I looked. And <laughs> above the shower is, like, actively growing black mold and <laughs> uh, and there's something else up there that looks really disgusting looks like some sort of toiletry product stuck up on the ceiling and uh but i thought you know, the guy's got to clean himself uh so i tried to turn the shower on and uh it wouldn't turn on wouldn't turn on like it has it's a pull out and then you got to lift up the little thing Lift up the little thing, no shower. There was absolutely no way I was going to get in, the, in that bathtub. So I went out to the people who run this joint, and I said, Hey, um, I have black mold above my shower, and my shower doesn't work. Can you put me in another room? And they said, Well, unfortunately, we're all, we're all booked up. <laughs> no more room at the inn. So I get to sleep with black mold. I guess I've been sleeping with black mold for the last two nights, so that's that, 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 that's one thing that's happened while I've been on this trip. I, I, I wanted to meet iJustine, 
He's not in the cards. I wanted to see Casey Neistat today. Casey Neistat was given a fireside chat. I don't know what that means. Uh, for the creator track, and I was on the creator track, so I thought, yes, I get to, I get to like listen to some Casey Neistat. That's very cool. Um, and I went up there like 20 minutes early. Thought I was going to be good. I paid for this conference, and that was part of the conference. But they closed it down. A fire code violation or something. Now let's get this straight. This is a giant conference center. They could have perhaps anticipated that Casey Neistat would be a pretty big draw. Now, as if you've been in a conference center or in a hotel with those sort of moving walls where you can make rooms bigger or smaller or anything like that, then you know that this is possible. Um, but no, they didn't, they didn't think about that. Uh, so one of, one of the things that I wanted to see the most here at VidCon was uh, Casey Neistat, and I paid my money, and I flew myself out here, and I didn't get to do it. That is kind of crappy. I'm going to just say crappy. People get mad at me when I when I swear. <laughs> um, yeah, so didn't get to see Casey Neistat. Didn't get get to meet I Justine. Um, uh, VidCon overall, I mean, giant expo in the main convention center had. Stuff like cereal, uh, cereal was a, was a an ex an exhibit. Rode microphones was there. Uh, Audio Technica was there. HyperX was there. I got to talk to people from all those companies, and that was cool. I did make a few contacts. Uh, people at Shure microphones as well. I did make a few contacts so that maybe I can get some stuff in. I did have a chance to meet with some folks at Canon. Uh, I. Can't really. <laughs> I signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't really say what we talked about. But it was a it was a cool little meeting, and uh, yeah. But there are there have been other things that have been going on while I'm here. First, like the first full day that I'm, I'm I was here, uh, which what today today's Friday, yeah. So th Thursday, maybe Wednesday. I can't I can't remember. But my wife calls me. Uh, well, my daughter calls me first in tears, and then my wife calls me, and she's in tears. There's eight inches of water in our in our basement. Now, our basement is also where I have my studio, and we have our entertainment area. That includes a $2,500 OLED TV. Uh, I have no idea if any of my stuff that was plugged into the power strips is going to be functional. So that was, that was one thing. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting other things. But then today, uh, we had to put down one of our dogs. Uh, Sasha uh, was six years old, and he was just having a lot of problems, and it was the best thing to do. But Sasha was my sobriety dog. He was the dog that I, uh, we got him not long after I quit drinking and I you know, took him for walks and did a bunch of stuff. And he was just kind of there. He was kind of there for me uh, as a buddy all these last five or six years. So <laughs> at a certain point, I was sitting in, uh, sitting in the hallway of one of the convention areas, just like talking to my wife on the phone and crying. Uh, that's all I could do. That's all I could do. Uh, I did take some vlog style stuff. I don't know if I'm going to cut any of it in here. Uh, will I come back to VidCon again? No, no. I, this is not what I, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a convention where you would get to mingle with people and you would get to like learn stuff. And uh, I found that it's really not that. Uh, I think that VidCon, as from a creator's standpoint, from my standpoint, as I think that um, I think that there wasn't a lot programmed for me, like this 
smallish, medium-sized YouTube channel. Um, I did get recognized once, but overall, it felt like it was a lot for the for the kids. And I mean, that that's that's fine. That's totally fine. I don't mind that at all because kids watch these YouTubers and they're like. They're like rock stars to them. I went to see, so my daughter loves Liza Koshy, and Liza Koshy is, uh, has a new YouTube original series that she's doing. So she gave a little panel today and showed some of the series. And so I did some pictures and video for my daughter, and that was cool. I, I'm glad to have had the opportunity to do that. I listened to Philip DeFranco for a little while last night. I did get to catch a tiny bit of Casey Neistat, but it was in the, like this ginormous convention hall. And, uh, you know, I, I was watching on, like, the big screens to the side of the stage. Um, so, some cool stuff. But not for, not for me. Not for me. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I wish that VidCon was a little bit more specific about, like, who the conference is for, uh, and I, it, that, I'm not good. I'm not complaining. Okay, I, I came out here. I, I spent the money. My basement flooded. My dog is dead. Um, I'm not going to complain. However, it's been it's been a rough several days. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. If you're out there and you're like a, a smaller creator looking to learn about a lot of the stuff that makes YouTube YouTube, uh, this is probably a good conference for you to come to. If you're above 50,000 subscribers, then th there wasn't much programming for me. I could have gone on the industry track, but that track was like twice or more expensive. I also ate at Carl's Jr. a lot. Um... I ate at Carl's Jr. three times. I have not eaten at a Carl's Jr. or a Hardee's in probably like 20 years. But it's right next to this fine hotel. And down the, down the road, there's like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and Morton's Steakhouse and some other hotel type restaurants. And there's a Denny's. There's a Denny's. But at the end of the day, Ruth Chris is expensive. And Morton's is expensive. Uh, like, Ruth Chris was like $50, $40, dollars and up for a steak. And Morton's had steaks that were over $100. And I'm not, you know, there are times when I will treat myself to something nice like that. But... Alone at this conference, I just would have felt <laughs> it would have felt ridiculous to drop one hundred and fifty dollars at a restaurant all by myself. Uh, anyway, so I have no idea how this is coming out. Um, if you have, if you follow me on Twitter, then you've seen some photos, you've seen some of my tweets. If you have, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then go to at Payne, H O N, Tech. Pain Han Tech, and uh, and follow me there because it's sort of like I, I did my own little Instagram like story of everything that was happening to me while I was here. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going home, uh, even if my home is like halfway destroyed. So, thanks for listening to me ramble. <laughs> On about this. Uh, I, I wanted to share a video about my experience with VidCon, and so here it is. This is my experience. Black Mold. Uh, VidCon is not a very well-run conference. I can say that as a professional conference runner. There's too many things to, to go through. It's just not very well-run. Uh, Thanks so much for being here. If you made it to this point in the video, then you have a strong stomach for whining by you know men over their over forty.
And if that's you, then thank you. And if you want to come back again sometime, well, come on back and say hello, because I will be here doing things much more interesting than complaining about the train wreck that has been this trip to the Los Angeles area. I have to leave tomorrow at 6 a.m. My flight goes out at 6 a.m. So I have to get an Uber here at 3 a.m. Let's see how well that goes. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for being here. Again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest. Thanks so honest, it hurts. I've got a little chafing from all the walking. Until the next time, I'm out.